Mac Voices TV at Macworld iWorld 2012 is sponsored by Otherworld Computing, providers of high-performance Mac accessories, including the new Jupyter Mini SAS line of shared storage, the new MiniStack Max 4-in-1 storage solution that pairs with your Mac Mini, and the new power to you AC USB wall outlet. Find all this and more at MacSales.com. This is Mac Voices TV at Macworld iWorld 2012. I'm Chuck Joyner, and we are on the show floor in the Mac OS X zone, talking to Jonathan of E3 about direct mail. Jonathan, direct mail in today's world? So direct, the name is a bit of a misnomer. It's actually an email marketing application, not actually a postal service mail. I feel much better now, okay. So what can you do with a direct mail, or excuse me, a direct email application, a marketing application, that I can't do just by creating a bunch of lists and firing stuff off? So uh, you certainly could try and do that if you're using you know, Apple Mail or, uh, or whatever, but it's very inconvenient to be sending to hundreds or thousands of people with a regular email client. So what we do is we try and make it as simple as possible to create a really beautiful email campaign, uh, make it easy to send out to however many clients you have or however big your list is, and then provide great tools to track the response and see, okay, who opened it, uh, who clicked my links, you know, how's my email campaign performing? Now the analytics, is that from just a standpoint of overall or are you able to take it down to a granular level and know that I opened it, you didn't, and the guy over there did right. two days from now? Right, well we, we start at a, at a high level so you can get a general sense and if you want you can drill down into the details. So I could say, okay, Chuck opened it you know, yesterday and he clicked these links and, and here's where he, where he went. So you get, you get both sides. So we can do pretty much anything with the analytics side that we want to. Yeah, it's a, it's a great tool and uh, you know, in general, email marketing is a powerful tool for small businesses to grow their business and to build relationships with their customers they already have. Now, I know from experience that, that sending out all those emails from my Apple Mail is not that easy. For one thing, a lot of the servers now are putting limits on how many you can send within a certain period of time. Are we working with your servers or are we working through something that I have or a third party or what? That's a great question. We, uh, we provide both options actually. So if you're a business and already have your mail server set up for that, great, uh, you can use uh, your server. We also provide a great service called E3 Delivery Service where we'll handle all that for you and uh, just charge a small fee for it. So. It's, it, this is easy for me to get up and running now. I have to ask the dirty question for someone in your business. Spam. Spam. Be, because no one wants their message, and nobody thinks of their message as spam. Right. Spam is in the eye of the beholder. Right. How do you address that, or is there any way for you to address that? So I think the first and biggest thing is, is educating our users what is allowed and what's not, right? If you're sending to people uh, for whom you already have permission, great. If not, don't do it. Uh, the second part of that is we have some tools and uh, uh, filters we use to try and catch abuse before it happens and keep us off blacklist, those kind of things. So education is one part, and then we try and provide the tools uh, to help keep people out of the spam folder as well. Now there's some obvious things. You know, it's 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 there's black and there's white, and then there's some gray in between. Gray. So, uh, do you when you come back to me and say, hey, we think you're in the gray zone? What do I do next? Do I have to convince you? Do I have to convince someone else? Well, it, I mean, it's really it's a simple rule, right? Uh, if you can show me proof that uh, all your recipients gave you their permission, you know, via, either it's by a subscribe form, or you did business with them, you know, in the past little while. As long as you can show uh, a proof of permission, then it's fine. Uh, that's really the biggest thing with any email marketing provider. It's all about permission-based uh, marketing. So I would assume that there's opt-out options and all that yeah, automatically? Yeah, we provide an easy way to add unsubscribe links and all those kind of things too, absolutely, yeah. And I, how do I get my email addresses from whatever source I have into your program? Just simple import? Yeah, so the great thing about uh, this app is that it's, it's built for the Mac. Uh, it works with your existing Mac applications. So be it FileMaker or Apple Address Book, Apple Mail, that makes it very easy to just import it right in and manage inside the app. The most important question of the afternoon, why are you holding a paper airplane? So if you'll notice, the airplane bears resemblance to our, our new application icon. So we thought it'd be fun to, to make our flyers you know, in the image of uh, our, our icon. Just having some fun with it. Very good, and there's the whole airmail thing that is probably the worst pun of the whole afternoon. <laughs> well, you know, we just go with it, and, and uh, I think people enjoy it, actually. It's been fun. 
Jonathan, if, if folks want to learn more and uh, do some direct mailing for themselves, how do they uh, find you? Just go to directmailmac.com and there's all you need to know. Great, thank you so much for the time. Thanks, Chuck. Folks, this is Mac Voices TV. We are at Macworld iWorld 2012. Back with more soon. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.